Hey y'all, it's me Zoe here at Zoe's World. Happy Saturday! Okay y'all, so today I have got a mashup video for you. I have a small Dollar Tree haul and a small Timu haul that we're going to mash up together. For those of you who do not know what that means, just whenever I have a few items for a couple from a couple different places, we just mash them up into one video. And I thought we would do a quick chat and some friend mail. So first thing I want to start off with is the um, Dollar Tree haul. I ju actually just went there this morning. Um, and y'all, how is your Dollar Trees looking? Now, I've been to multiple Dollar Trees. You guys know I shop around. I'm going to scoot back a little bit. So I can, I can hardly see y'all. Um, our Dollar Trees have been kind of all over the place. A lot of them still have Halloween out, fall. Um, ours today, when I went, their Halloween was 50% off the little bit that they had left. So I don't know if they started that maybe yesterday. Um, and, um... The ones that I went to like last week, they already had Christmas out. My store does have some Christmas, but a very small little bit. But today when I went, tons of boxes everywhere, y'all. So how has everybody been doing? Have you guys been shopping the new Christmas yet? Is it in your store yet? Or are you guys still seeing the Halloween? Sorry, y'all. I'm probably going to be drinking a lot. I've been sick the last two days. I took off from work. I don't generally do that a whole lot. Um, try to never do it. I hate missing work. Um, and I just had some kind of, I don't know what it was. I think it was a sinus infection. I still think I'm still fighting it a little bit. I've just had a horrible, horrible migraine for days. I do suffer from migraines anyway, but this is a different kind of headache. It like feels like it's starting out with like sinus pressure, like under, under my eyes, like I could feel it and just um I could feel that like as part of it but then on top of it you know the congestion I just I get a sinus infection every year when the seasons change and so that's why I kind of feel like that's what it is because that's what it seems like but I'm fighting it off you guys but the last two days I just felt terrible but I had some other symptoms too so I'm not sure if it was just from having such a bad headache I was really sick um but Luckily today, I'm feeling somewhat human. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm better because I don't really feel great, but I'm feeling much better than I did, so we're going to call it a win. Okay, y'all. I hope everyone is having a blessed and beautiful Saturday. I am thankful. I am off Saturday and Sunday. It wore my days off. Like I said, I missed the last two days of work. So I've been kind of stuck at home. I got out this morning to get some stuff to make for us um, for dinner tonight. And um, we haven't had lunch yet. It's 1.19 my time here in Illinois. So once I get up with this video, I'll be going and making us some lunch. I'm just going to make some easy fish sticks and fries. Maybe some peas or something to go with it. Something quick and simple. Okay, y'all. We're going to jump right in now. Um, like I said, we'll do Dollar Tree first. The first thing I found was something that's been on my wish list. I was super excited to find these. You get four, four individual K-Cups if you use a Keurig machine. It's a medium roast coffee, and it's called Northwest Blend. And I guess in the blend, it's hazelnut, praline, and cinnamon is what makes up that blend. And I purchased two of these, so I got eight K-Cups for $1.25, well, $1.25 each box, so total of eight. And this is the Harry and David brand. So we've tried their actual coffee before. My husband likes it. Um, Y'all know I just like the iced coffees, but I got these for my husband to try. So got that. Then, y'all, I found these, the Jet Cupped Mini Marshmallows. Oh, my gosh. I love these so much. I love to put them in hot chocolate. They were, like, calling my name. And for those of you who have not been on my channel a while, um... I love ambrosia salad and I make it like pretty frequently so I figured whatever I don't use in hot chocolate I'll use in that and then I purchased I'm looking for the gingerbread houses some of the stores have them none of the ones I went to have had them but I've seen other people haul them but they did have this Christmas kit cookie like a cookie decoration kit so basically it comes with these two gingerbread that you get to decorate so I figured Jack and I would do this one night if I can talk him into it 
This is not his thing. If he doesn't do it, I'll just do them both. So, okay. Then, this is just a trusty standby. I always use these. The fabric softener. You get 40 sheets for $1.25, and these smell amazing. The Outdoor Breeze is one of my favorite scents that they carry. And then, y'all, do you remember the, I can't even think what they were called, the fizzy candy when you were a kid? Do you guys remember the, the popping candy? Well, today they had these Kool-Aid Snow Day popping candies in berry flavor. So I thought I would get those and give them a try on an upcoming short for you guys. Have you guys been liking the short videos if you've been seeing them? Just me trying different products. Um, they're quick and easy and short and I can just show you, the, you know, an item real quick and tell you about it. Let me know in the comments if you guys are liking those or not. This next item, y'all. For those of you who've seen me haul the socks recently, I told you guys that Twinkies has a special place in my heart because my dad worked for them, retired with that company. Today when I went, they had Twinkie flavored candy canes. Now you guys might've seen me haul the Dreamsicle one recently. Y'all, when I went today, they had Twinkies. So you know I had to have it. So I picked these candy canes up. I did see a cocoa flavored one there too when I was there. I didn't get it today. I might get it next time. It looks like my mail lady's dropping off mail. Okay, next item, y'all. My This is my favorite candy bar ever. Paydays. And I have not seen these in a Dollar Tree store literally in years where I live. But they had them in Dollar Tree today, so I had to get one. I like them so much that earlier this year I bought a case of them off of Amazon. Okay, y'all, and the very, let's see, oh no, I got another bag, okay. Next item is this sign. It says, may your days be merry and bright. And the reason I got this specific sign is I actually purchased a um, bathroom set, you know, the shower curtain rugs and all that, that kind of, ha that have trees on it. And so I got this to go in the bathroom to match that. I don't know if it'll match it exactly, but I figured it'll be close. So I purchased that for that reason. Okay. Next item. I should be putting this stuff away as I go. Oh yeah, I did pick, pick I did purchase, sorry, this, which I am enjoying. It's very good. I don't drink a whole lot of Hawaiian Punch. This is the Orange Ocean flavor. And they had this in their cooler, so it was cold. And y'all, I had a sweatshirt on because I thought it was going to be cold. Because I've been cold with this whatever funk I've had going on. I've been really cold. But I got this because I didn't want soda. And this was the only other option. And it's quite good. And I got Jack of Coke. A can of coke just to for him to have it picked up one of these today this is a non-slip rug underlay these work great if you guys have never tried them if you have their rugs and that that slide you can just sit this under it and, and these really work so i picked up one of those because the office is almost done and i have a rug in there so i got that for that room picked up two of these triple a batteries there's eight in each package right yeah and y'all know I just like to stock up I was buying them from Amazon all the time but the last several months I've just been picking them up at Dollar Tree so I might go back to Amazon eventually I just haven't and then I picked these up I have hauled these before these are those regular be pure pads they're 100% cotton y'all I used to buy the expensive pads these work just as well so if you need these still pick them up at Dollar Tree $1.25 Okay, y'all, I think that is everything from the Dollar Tree haul, besides the Coke that I got Jack. They don't sell his 1.25 liters anymore, so he is now drinking the um, cans. They have the extra skinny, taller cans. I don't know how many ounces that is, but... Okay. 
next thing we're gonna get to is the Timu haul. And like I said, y'all, this is gonna be a small haul today because it was a small Timu and a small Dollar Tree. And I thought, well, we'll just do a mashup and go ahead and do them both. Okay, this next item I wanna show you, this I got, for those of you who don't know, I am, I don't really call myself a prepper, but I am kind of a prepper because I do believe in trying to be prepared for whatever could happen. Whether that be with your groceries, emergency items, whatever. So I purchased this, it's a multifunctional solar lamp. It was $9.99. By the way, everything I got today from Dollar Tree was $1.25. And I'm going to show this to you because it's pretty cool. It comes in this box. I already took it out and had my husband look at it because he's usually the, a great judge of, you know, how things are going to work. So it's solar. So it's got that solar to, to charge it. And then it's got all these different lights. Now, y'all, I'm not going to turn it on because we turned it on in the house. Jack was turning all the different ones on because it's got all these different things that come on. And it's got a place to actually plug your cell phone or wherever at here and charge them once this is charged from the solar. So um, he was actually testing all the lights on it because there's a bunch of different ones. And it is literally blinding. It is so bright. So I thought this was a good emergency item to, car to carry in our emergency bag. Um, yes, y'all, I'm, I am creating a bug out bag for each of us. And, um, I got that. I'm slowly building them a little bit at a time. We already have kind of a, kind of a bug out bag, but it doesn't have anything in it that I think we would need. I mean, I think we need more things in it. So I'm purchasing backpacks, different things to really create a true bug out bag. So I've been kind of trying products from Timu. So I picked this up. Like I said, it was $9.99. And since... Jack said it is really nice quality and everything. We're going to go ahead and get an, order another one. This other thing I got, well, it says it's a lighter. It comes in this nice little gift box. It was $7.58. Comes all nicely wrapped and everything in there. And this is a heavy duty lighter that it pushes on the side here to open the lid. Wow. Well, I'm telling you that, and then I'm, oh, wait a minute, no. you first got to undo it first, then it does. Okay. No, this, that's where you actually light it. Sorry, Jack was doing this, and it, it does need to be charged, but um, it comes with a little thing here to charge it. Comes with this little charger to charge it, which is something you could charge with that light. And then it also comes with this that you can hook onto it to carry it. But this is a waterproof lighter. This is what it looks like. And it does, when it came in, it was charged. Like it was actually lighting up through there. But it is really nice and it's heavy duty. And it is waterproof. So we did get that also for those emergency bags. And like I said, we're only buying like one item at a time to really try the products. And when we know it's definitely a good quality, then we order more. Because I'm trying to build two complete bags. So, um, Jack said this is also really nice. So, we will be purchasing another one of these. And like I said, $7.58. Okay. Next item. Sorry, y'all. My neighbors are mowing. This was $2.24. And this is a little different than the nails I normally get. It came packaged like this. Came with the normal, sorry, I'm dropping stuff. The normal nail stickers, which I'm dropping. I'll get those later. Um, I won't actually use the stickers. And a little file, like always. But it came in this nice plastic container with four different fall colors. So I'm super excited about that because I can put like a different color on each nail if I wanted or I can do all one color. But four complete sets for $2.24. And there's way more than 10 nails there. I would say there's probably 20 like there is in all the other little sets. But there's 
four complete different sets, four colors. So I'm super excited about this because they're the fall colors. Okay. Next item from Timu. This is another lighter. They're calling it an ARC barbecue lighter. This is one of those lighters. I had purchased one before. I had the rose gold one that will be in my office. But I got the black one. This is just an additional one. There's a little plug to charge it in, the USB. And these just light up. Okay, this one's not on or not. Oh, wait a minute. I think it is charged. Can you guys see that little purple color? So it's already working. But I got that for just another room in the house, the living room. Next item. Oh, and that lighter, by the way, did I tell y'all how much that was? $5.48 is what I paid. And it's mainly just to light like candles, stuff like that. Okay, this next item was $7.64. Yes, y'all, more t-shirts. You know I have a problem. And it's in this pretty brown color, which I love, especially for fall. It's pretty wrinkled, but it's, it says, some of y'all don't know what happened to Earl, and it shows. <laughs> so, it is so extremely soft. But I absolutely love the saying. And so when I seen it, I had to have it. Y'all know I have a t-shirt problem. Y'all, you know, we've been working on that office steadily. And haven't walked, worked on it this week yet. Um, I don't think at all. Have we been in there? My days all run together. Not at least the last few days because I've been feeling so awful. But um, we're going to try to get back in there maybe tomorrow. I still don't feel great today. Um, so we'll, we'll see how I feel to get in there, but it is coming along, y'all. It's almost done. Next thing, this is another pair of nails. This is, they look like little candy canes around the edges of the nail. Um, it was, a, they were $1.99, and I just thought they were so fun. These will be fun to wear during December. So I picked those up for $1.99. Next, oh, the little holders in the bag there, but this was $2.69, and it's just a battery-operated little light-up star. I thought this would be pretty on one of the little smaller trees. So I got that. And y'all, I got a bonus item. At, um, I, I stopped by Family Dollar the other day to get tea, and I just ran in there real quick, and they had some of their bonus items out already. Um, our One of the stores I go to is a Family Dollar and a Dollar Tree combined. Um, I don't care for that store. Number one, the workers there are not overly friendly at all. Um, they sort of refuse to help you. Their prices are always mixed up there. Uh, they never really care. <laughs> Like you say, well, the price is this, and they're like, so. <laughs> it's kind of like, so I don't go there a whole lot, um, mainly because I just don't like to service people who behave that way. <laughs> but I did stop in there the other day to get tea because the tea that I drink I can only get literally from a few stores in my area, and I happen to be in that area, so that's why I stopped and got it. But I did run through to see what they had for Christmas. Not a ton out yet. But they did have some of their bonus items yet. And y'all know the ceramic Christmas trees that are, there's vintage ones out there that are selling for like astronomical prices. Well, y'all, they have ones that are about this big at Dollar Tree and they're five bucks. They, they're battery operated. They're not plug-in ones like the old ones were, but they are so beautiful. And I brought one home for five bucks. I got the green when they came in. The colors I seen were green and white. Although, I think on the side it shows a gold one too. But, um, I got the green one. And it's in my office. And I'm going to show that to you on one of those short videos that I told you guys about. Um, all lit up because I put batteries in it already. And it, it shines so pretty. 
but I didn't want to show you in the car today because this, with the bright light out here, you're not going to see how pretty it is lit up. So I'll show you in the dark and I'll show a short video and share that with you guys. But they're five bucks, y'all. So you might want to go to Dollar Tree and get you some before they're gone. My Dollar Tree, my one that I go to all the time, theirs isn't out yet. Okay, this next item was $3.98. Sorry, went off the rails a little bit there. But I was so excited when I found that thing. And this is a hat. It's in gold. I just thought this was so pretty with all the sequins. Looks like a trucker ball cap. I'm usually not a huge fan of the trucker caps. But I do own a few and I do I do wear them. Um, they're not as fitted as I like. So, But I had to have this with all the sparkles. So it's in gold, and like I said, it is sparkling out like crazy. And the price was just so affordable at the $3.98. I hope y'all can hear me okay. My neighbor is mowing. Mowing their field. Okay. Next item, this was $2.47. And y'all, I've seen this and I had to have it. My Gracie girl has become even more spoiled, if you can believe that. So, I found this and it's so stinking cute. Although, I'm not sure it's going to fit her. She's tiny. This has got like little black specks all over it. I don't know what that is. But, I don't know. She weighs 8 pounds and this seems even... I got the size small. But, this seems even even too small for her it might have to go back but y'all the princess has arrived it's a little t-shirt for her isn't it precious it might fit her she is so little I'll have to see but i saw this and i was like oh that is definitely my gracie girl she is the princess of, she's the queen of the house we got that for her Then, y'all, I've showed you these before, but I absolutely love them. I use them for jewelry. And I put all of my big earrings in those, like, dress forms I've showed you guys with all the multiple pockets. And I love them because you can see everything so easily, the great big earrings I wear. But all my tiny earrings like this, I hate putting them in my jewelry box because they're not... I have, to, I have just little square openings, like, to stick stuff in. And then I have to dig through that to find the mates where these gridded boxes are see-through and I can see every individual pair so I also use these for rings as well um and these are $1.18 a pair or a pair $1.18 for the box that I, that's what I paid for this one y'all I swear I slept all day yesterday I slept in this morning and I still feel exhausted I don't know I don't, I don't know if it's just from feeling so bad or what this next item was 82 cents, and I absolutely love this. And y'all know I didn't get to get all my fall decorations out because we're still doing all this stuff here. But you guys, we've got so much done here. It is amazing, and I'm really hoping that Christmas is going to be different. I'm trying so hard. So I got this guy to go on my sink at Christmas. It's a sponge for your kitchen. It's got a little fuzz on him. But they had different ones. I just like the Santa Claus. And it's good size. It's big. Like, there, here's my hand, and it's it's a good size. So, got that. And like I said, that was 82 cents. For a kitchen sponge, that's not a bad price. Okay. Next item. Looks like this bag is trying to eat the merchandise. This was $8.48, and I have been buying my leggings off of Timu since I found them on there so affordably, and they're so nice. Oh, sorry, y'all. Suddenly, there's a wasp flying around. Okay, y'all, this one doesn't want to open. I'm just going to rip the bag. Okay. So, um, I usually just get the black leggings, but I started seeing colored ones on there, and this is the brown, like the chocolate brown color, and they're just plain leggings, but I love leggings. That's what I wear almost all the time, 
So I wanted to start getting some solid. I have a lot of printed leggings, but not a lot of solid colored ones. So I got those brown ones and they were $8.48. This next item was $1.34. I guess this one's a little longer than I thought, or a little more than I thought there was in here. And I just love these. I think they're so fabulous. I love 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 everything about an ugly sweater party love it love to wear ugly sweaters love to have a party um i hope i get to do that this year that would be so much fun but these are ugly sweater earrings y'all sorry they're moving on us with santa claus on them aren't they fabulous and they're green i love the green so i picked those up and they were $1.34 Y'all, it is such a beautiful day today. Um, I don't know. Last I looked in car, it was like 68. This next item was $1.48. Let's see if I can get these open without. And this is a set of three for $1.48. I mean, they're tiny. They're dainty little earrings. But you're getting three pair for that price. So you're getting this gorgeous. I'm just going to show one earring at a time because that's too hard to hold the pair. The little French hook style looks like a little Christmas ornament or Christmas lights, I should say. Got this one in green. Then there is a pair of silver ones. And then a pair of red ones. And they're little, they're, t they're small earrings, but they're still gonna dangle, you know, a little bit off the ear. So I think those are so pretty for $1.48, three pair. So those will be great for the holidays. Okay, I think this is the last Timu item. And if y'all seen my recent one, my recent haul, well, it was a little while back, but I got those house slippers that had the bats on them. They're so comfortable. Y'all, I had to get these. I saw these and they were so cute. And you guys told me what her name was. If I remember Clarice, is that right? Was it Clarice? Isn't she adorable? And I had to have these. Plus it does help that they have the little pink insoles. So <laughs> I like that. But I think these are so cute for the holidays. Cannot wait to start wearing them. Still wearing my bat ones right now. With the bat pajamas. Okay, that is it on the Timu haul, y'all. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I have got some massive hauls coming in. Like, huge. <laughs> huge, huge. I got a couple of really big orders. I know for sure two big orders. I got a bunch of little smaller orders. But then I've got some two massive orders coming. So, as usual, there is more Timu to come. Now, y'all, um, I wanted to talk real quick about friend mail. So, I've been still getting friend mail. I know a lot of you knew that the giveaway had already passed. By the way, speaking of the giveaway, um, I sent out the package immediately um, to our winner. And then it was returned back to me within, like... I don't know, 10 days or something. Pretty pretty late, it seemed like. So, I had mentioned on one of the videos that um, to get in touch with me, um, I wanted to confirm your address. Well, I got the card back out, and I looked at the address, and I just I actually just did this this morning. Um, and the address is very clear like I can tell exactly what it is so I checked the box where I sent it and it looks like they had ripped part of the zip code off so um that's why I, I don't know if they did that when they were like you know moving it through the system or whatever and didn't know where to, to take it to because the zip code was half ripped off so I put a new tag on it this morning and I went to take it to the post office. I thought they closed at noon and my little local post office closed at 11. So it will not go out until my next day off. 
And to be honest, I'm not even sure when that is because I've been a hot mess express. Um, it's probably, I know I work Monday. It's probably going to be most of the time my days are together. So it might be like Wednesday or Thursday before it goes out. But I will be shipping it out. So just wanted to put that out there so you know I didn't forget about you or I haven't heard from the winner. But I just wanted to make sure you're going to get it. It's after Halloween, obviously, but our mail system is crazy. Okay, so now we're going to get into some friend mail. Um, I did want to say that I got like... Uh, this particular package I'm going to show you. Make sure there's nothing on the back of it. There's nothing on the back of it. Here's the package. I've opened it up. Um, and I've gotten a couple other cards, and I didn't want you people to send me cards to think that I did not, that I've forgotten or didn't get them. I know uh, Michelle from Michelle Halls. I think that's the name of her channel. I love her channel. Um, I know she sent something, and then I think there are, um, are at least one other one that I got since then. But, unfortunately, this is my fault. I have a bag that I put all friend mail stuff in. Um, one of those shopping type bags from Dollar Tree. And I had everything in there except for this package, because this package was in my car from when I went and got it from the mail, and I hadn't put it in there yet. That bag is buried in my office because we have moved all the furniture to one corner of the office so that we could um, do the trim work. <laughs> so, um, I shouldn't say the trim work, the, the carpet work. It's really strange, but in my trailer, whenever they built the walls or whatever, the actual walls are on top of the carpet. I know that sounds weird. So when we went to cut the old carpet out so we could lay the flooring down, which is what we've been trying to work on, um, it's like, it's stuck under the wall. Like it is, it's really difficult to get it out. <laughs> so we've had to move everything around constantly to try to get to the edge as close as we can to try to get this carpet up so we can put this new flooring down. <laughs> I know that sounds insane, but that's one of the issues we've been running into. Anyway, the other, friend, the other friend mail I got from you guys, those cards are in that bag. And as soon as I get to that part of the office, I have not forgotten, I will share those cards on this channel, okay? Um, I want to first say thank you all to everyone who sends me things. You guys do not have to do that. I don't ever want you to think you do. But I'm like a kid in a candy store. I love getting stuff in the mail. It is so fun for me. And when you guys send me stuff, I just love it so much. So... This package here came in, and I opened it, and I was just, I I don't usually open them until I'm getting ready to, like, show them to you guys. So this has been in my car. So I opened it today, and I was so stinking excited. Um, I want to just share, show you uh, how fabulous this is. But the first thing is this cute thing. It says, look inside. And they made this. How fabulous is this? It's got all the little sugar skulls that I love on this little package. Isn't that fabulous? So I was like, oh my gosh, this is look inside. Now I've not looked inside yet. I just like opened the thing to get it to, to be able to get the package out, the stuff out. But yeah, oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I can't wait to show you this so cool and you guys I can put this I can put this in my junk journal so this is going to be so fabulous so I'm going to get in here and make sure I'm not showing anybody's information okay they made a card it said happy Halloween by the way y'all I got this before Halloween I just I wanted to tell you I'm just now showing it it says happy Halloween and I just wanted to show you guys how fabulous it is. Aww. It says, mm, and from all of them, keep the videos coming. I love this too. Thank you, April in Arkansas. I'm not going to show April's last name because I don't know if she wants that shown, but I'm going to just kind of cover it up. 
but you guys is this not fabulous look at all the stickers and the look at she made that april i love this so much it is so awesome she made this beautiful card on this cardstock oh it's so pretty and then she included in that cute little package she made <laughs> that's boogie isn't this cute and i can actually put this in my junk journal and write little notes in it so i can't wait to use that oh and she got me this decoration and april i'm sorry i didn't get to use this this year but i will put it in my in my um stock for next year because it's fabulous and she clearly knows me and knows that i love sugar skulls and then she also put this in here look at how fabulous this is oh my gosh it's so pretty look at all these stickers i'm going to use these in my junk journal they are going to be so awesome and then these these are really adorable how cute are these there's a third one oh it says zoe's world if you guys can see it or not look at all the stickers from april so thank you april i love this so much i cannot wait to use this in my junk journal i'll put my halloween decoration away with the other stuff i actually believe it or not i have packed it all up but i've still got stuff that i didn't have room in the tote for so i've got to get another tote for more halloween <laughs> so i have to get some more totes because i've just got stuff everywhere <laughs> I love this so much. I just wanted to thank you very much. I want you guys to know that um, if I don't show your stuff right away, it's not because I don't want to. I have just, I'm just like crazy. That's all it is. I'm just crazy, <laughs> crazy busy usually. But um, thank you so much, April. I love that so much and I will use it. And for those of you who have sent me cards and other little things, I will be sharing those soon. Maybe tomorrow even, depending on if we... I don't think we're getting in the office today, though. I still don't feel the greatest, and I'm not sure I really feel like doing anything, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I will be getting there eventually, I promise you. Um, but that is it for the hauls. Um, that's the only friend mail I'm showing today. But thank you, April, very much for that. I love it. And thank you all so much. I want to say welcome to all of our new subscribers. You guys are so awesome. Um... Our family is building so quickly, quicker than I ever thought it would. So I'm so thankful for that. Um, and then I also want to say welcome um, back all of our regulars that are on here all the time, constantly commenting and chit-chatting with each other and the emails. And you all truly are a blessing in my life. I hope you guys really realize that because it's just this YouTube family thing has become more than I could have ever expected it to be. So Thank you all so much. I appreciate you. Um, I think that is it for today. I'm going to hop off of here. Me and my long wooden mouth, it's already at almost 40 minutes. I'm sorry. I know some of you hate that. <laughs> but um, I've got more videos coming up for you guys. I have actually been working on like an ideal book of different things I want to share with you guys once I get stuff done. Um, and I'm no longer working overtime right now. So... I should have a lot more time to get some stuff accomplished that I want to, want to get done. This week was my last week of overtime and missed out on that because I missed a day or two days. So, but it's okay. I, the shape I was in, I did not need to be at work. So <laughs> I was a little bit miserable. So, um, I think that is it y'all. I will see you guys soon. I'm looking forward to it. I, I may do a video tomorrow. I don't know for sure. I'm, I'm in my mind. I'm planning on doing one. Um, and it was going to be a video on um, some, just a quick video on some items that I won from Timu. Um, but I still have got orders coming in. Um, I had the one actually came in yesterday. Um, and so I don't know. My shipping has all been kind of crazy with Timu. So I never know if it's going to show up when it says it's going to or not. Um, sometimes I'm within that window that they give you. And other times it's like a month late. So. I have no idea what I will have tomorrow for you, but um, I will probably do, if nothing else, a short video, if nothing else, um, just to kind of show you show you items I've either won or, 
you know, some shorts on some products that I'm trying right now. Okay, y'all, that is it. Thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you have a fabulous, happy Saturday. Enjoy this gorgeous weather. I hope it's gorgeous where you're at. And I will talk to you guys soon. Be blessed. Bye.